For the theory video blog, I chose the distant learning theory of Dick, Carey, and Carey 2005 ISD model of learning. It really lines up with expectations of dealing with students of varied learning levels. My experience required that students was to be highly engaged, motivated to learn, and assessed often throughout lessons, giving vital feedback throughout the lesson, even to the end of the lesson. Um, teachers are requested to make most decisions based on formative and summative data. The Dick, Carey, and Carey's ISD model in relationship to assessment instruction Learner analysis are driven by the objective targets definitions. Um, the strength of this model is that it addresses differentiated instruction in terms of student needs. It is systematic in its approach, which would favor a teacher's need for direction guided throughout the lesson process. Oh, I'm sorry, the learning process. The only weakness I would agree is that it is not as flexible enough with a need um, to address a wider variety of possible student learning modification issues. Um, thanks.